It's a failed venture. And you can see it's just really quite empty. Well, hello. So I am starting up another vlog. You guys seem to really enjoy the last one I did. So there's a lot that's been going on in my life that I have not been forthright about. And it wasn't my decision to be like that. Um, it doesn't just concern me. So I have to be really careful in how I word it. But basically I was working on acquiring another business. I'm gonna be as vague as I can to protect the other parties, but imagine a business that coincides with what I do now. That would accent it well. That would be another dynamic. Okay, now, this has been going on for four or five months. Look what I'm showing you in the back. <laughs> you don't really see a whole lot, do you? So that is all kind of mounting into what this is. So to give a little backstory, I've been doing my best to empty this place out uh, with the idea that I could sell it and do a new thing. Long story short, I'll get, I'll kind of jump back, but that's not happening. So I'm staying here. Okay. The rest of the story goes that I turn the light on in here. It's just, it's hard to dance around some of the things because they don't, you know, like I said, it's, it's not just my information to give. So I've been in, in works with this acquisition and lots of hoops were had to be jumped through by my part and the other party's part, to be, to be honest, because it's not, it's not a smooth, there's an echo in here, hopefully it's not ridiculous, because it's not easy to change your business, you know, to do different things on both sides. So I had to deal with the county, so I did more regulatory and more regulatory stuff. I had to deal with the bank, which if you remember whenever I bought this place, there was a whole ordeal with the bank on that one. So I was extra cautious to get the loan and everything. Uh, the final straw happened actually last night. And to be completely honest, everything was supposed to be done and this whole thing was going to happen mon Monday. Monday, yeah. So <laughs> essentially what happened is I got a call late at night by the other party. Um, I'm gonna try not to, I won't say anything identifying. Essentially there was a giant problem with the acquisition, I'm being very vague, that resulted in a repair or, yes, a repair, that needed, that was going to be $178,000. <laughs> that wasn't ever budgeted into this acquisition. So <laughs> that, was, that was a deal breaker. I, you know, what are you gonna do? that definitely was more for the long, like everything, right? So it doesn't make sense. It didn't make sense anymore. Now, as unfortunate as it was to go months and months with something like that in the background, not being able to tell anybody, but very select people close to me, I didn't like it. I didn't like the secret. I don't generally like it whenever I can't say what's going on, but now I can because it sort of worked its way out. It's a failed venture. I'm not saying anything that involves the other parties. So it's, and it's my story to tell. Long story short is that, you know, I'm, I feel back at square one. That's how it generally feels. It, I, I was on this path to what I thought is something. And I was doing everything I could. It was working. We were going places, things were happening, but there was always 
there's always room for, you know, something else to have, I'm gonna sit down. It's kind of been a learning experience all around about the amount of change that I was going to have to make. And at the end of the day, I'm not entirely sure that it would have been a great fit because ultimately I would be not so free. I would be more locked into something. But that idea and venture had a path and that path would have been good, but it just didn't pan out. So I know I'm leaving a lot up to your imagination, but that's all right. I think you get the idea that it was a very big deal to me. It would have been the biggest thing I've ever done. Yeah, single-handedly, but it just couldn't work. So now I can kind of get back in the gear, get back into a, a different thought pattern and regroup. Sometimes you have to have a mental break. Sometimes you have to sort of take a step back and reflect and look at the larger picture to gain a little bit more insight. But as you can see, this room is almost empty because I had planned to sell the building. And I spoke with a realtor and, and the reason is, is uh, it would have been, having this location would have been superfluous. That said, the building is very cheap for me to maintain. I know it's empty, <laughs> the, but the area that I use and I have been using for the most part is in the back and that's sort of my space. This up here has always pretty much just been this extra thing. And when I had bought it, I had imagined having different pop-up sales, which I did, I had two. But um, I'm not so excited about that these days. That said, it might seem like a waste of space. It might seem like a waste of money to have something like this. It costs less than $400 a month, including property tax, including insurance, including utilities, everything. And it's away from the house. So having this extra space to kind of just like go mentally check out and be here rather than have it in the house is still way, way worth that. I just put them, I, put, I redid the roof, that's done. You know, there's no things that have to be done here. So, you know, at that point, might as well just hang on to it. I'm excited now going forward because I can participate in more of these group activities. I can go on trips and meet and meetups. I would have been a little bit more chained down or I, that wouldn't have been so feasible under this other scenario. And I knew that, I mean, logically I did. And I was willing to make the different adjustments to my life to, to do this. And you can see it's just really quite empty. Uh, I have just a few shelves over there, the counter and some other things on this, uh, this blue shelf. Now I did buy this large lamp from somebody uh, locally here and it's really dusty. So once this is like cleaned off, it would, it would, you know, it'd be very vibrant, but you can see it has a really, maybe you can't, there's a really nice kind of Art Nouveau base. This is, this is newer. This is from the nineties probably, but it's in great shape with no, with no issues. So I'm going to clean that up. It'll probably, even the finial is nice. And I'll probably put that on Facebook marketplace. Um, just see what happens with it. I paid $40. This was like a situation where I go into somebody's house and it's sitting there and I'm dealing with the, the owner and I just said, well, you know, I could pay 40. That's a lot, but you know, I didn't want to lowball them. And you know, that's how that goes. I bought this off of their wall, but it's this Native American on a horse lithograph print. And I paid $20 for that. I mean, you have to consider, yeah, that might be a lot, but you have to consider that um, this was hanging in their office <laughs> above their computer. And here I am in their house and I'm like, I'll give you 20, you know, I'll give you $20 for that. 
and you're just buying stuff off their walls. Now, the situation is they are moving, so they they invited me to come do this, obviously, but they're moving, and so that was my intention to go and, you know, make offers, and I did. There's a few other things I bought that's in my trunk of the car, but yeah, so I got those things. Uh, the lithograph I would probably sell online, whereas the the Tiffany style lamp would be on Facebook Marketplace, or I could just keep it. I really enjoy stuff like that, so it's not a big deal. I can use it at the house if, if I want to. So right now, I'm just gonna write Barb a check. You know, she sells with me on Friday nights, and the way we do it is she has her sheets here. And I just write her a check for the items that she sold. Uh, now, there are fees that are, oh, where's my check? Oh, there it is. There are fees that are paid, I mean, that PayPal charges me. But considering she helps me ship, where is my pen? <laughs> I don't worry about it. So I just give her the full amount that she sold. And then she takes that check and then she will use that for her taxes. For me, um, it's just considered cost of goods. So I write that off as cost of, cost of goods. And so it's basically like I bought them and sold them for what I, you know what I mean? Like I made nothing. So <laughs> that's the simplest way I thought to do it. And then, but she'll claim her that as income on her side. So let's see, I'm trying to see around the camera. So we gotta do $496 plus 464. So she gets a check for $960. Sometimes I've waited and it's been like three or four of these and you know, it's like like $1,500. Okay, so 960, that's pretty good. Um. So anyway, yeah, I just gotta do this. I also, it's just lots of admin stuff. Um, I can tell you this much as well. Like I created another LLC for this thing that was so secretive. Uh, and I, ha I gotta cancel that, which luckily is a low cost, but to create an LLC comes with a cost. I ordered business checks for this new thing. That's, you know, waste of money. Uh, what else did I do? Lots of stuff. I put a lot of time into things. Um, I can't really describe exactly the things that I did, but time, lots of time. The bank account that I made for it, gotta close that out. Well, here I am at the post office in Summerfield, Illinois. This is right down the street from where my shop is. And I'm gonna go ahead and head on in there. Well, I just arrived at the bank and I'm gonna go ahead and head in and take care of closing out that new business account. And I've got to, so move the funds over to one of my other accounts and then send a wire transfer probably to my parents. They uh, floated me like a four month bridge, like a four month bridge, I don't wanna say loan, because it's not like there's interest or anything, but it was my phone. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just gonna head in and see about having that like sent back to them. And then, uh, yeah, at that point, then I have the, I need to go to the uh, post office here in town. I'll check that box and drop off these two packages. And then I'll probably go home and have lunch and show you the, uh, the porch, how that turned out. Uh, we're, we're getting down to the wire on that one, so. Oh my gosh. So the the weather is kind of crap, and you know, I don't have any head, head pain or anything, although I do just feel generally exhausted. So 
that could be um, emotional exhaustion from everything. But yeah, it's a lot. So I'm gonna head on inside now. Hi, what can I start it for you? Um, can I get a raspberry vinaigrette wrap with grilled chicken and um, half the dressing? Half the dressing? Well, I mean, I would. I didn't want to say light, but light, yeah, just lighter dressing. Oh, you want like light dressing? On yeah. Okay. One second. Okay. Okay. Okay, and that's it. Okay, name and name. Jeffrey. What are you guys driving? A white car. Are you doing cash or card? Um, card. One more second. All right, thank you. Your total for is eight eighty-six. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Oh, Stella, what are you doing? I know it's so nice being a dog, and you smell my food too. You do. It's not gonna. You're not gonna get any though. So I gave Stella a bath a couple days ago. Uh, trying to do, you know, part of my preparation of life, getting ready for this thing I was telling you about. Um, oh, potato sack. You're such a cutie patootie. Yes, I know. So I've got my um, raspberry vinaigrette grilled chicken wrap. And uh, usually I would eat my, my meals that are like fish based, but I can't eat fish every day. And I know that. So I fill in between those days with something else. In this case, I got that nice wrap. So I'm gonna eat that and then I'll show you the back porch project, how that's coming along. All right, so here is the back porch and it's, we had a little bit of a hiccup with it. Um, I'll show you more closely what the problem is, but here is what it looks like when you get down close. So I really like the colors on here. I did as much sweeping as I could. It needs a little bit more sweeping to get some of the loose stuff off. But for the most part, that's that's the texture and everything. The colors are really nice. I, I'm happy with it. I just kind of wish it was more vibrant, like more primary colors, because from a distance, you really don't, I don't know, you don't, I mean, in person you can see the colors, but like, I don't know. Anyway, what we are basically dealing with here is a haphazard line down the center and that's because of just the functionality of doing it imagine like you're painting the coat and then so i'm standing there and it's wet paint you gotta like throw these flecks as hard as you can and as far as you can because you know what i mean like so you need to be standing right here so you have to do it in two two goes so basically how that works is some there's gonna be other oh stella I guess I'll let her out here anyway. Come on, Stella. So, oh, yeah. So, okay, so right, so you have to do it in two ways. So imagine you're throwing it and then you have like some, some flecks that are still over here and then you gotta sweep those out of the way and get those, the, 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 the loose flecks because there's no wet paint for it to stick to. Then you gotta go back in and paint your second coat on this half of the floor. And I missed, I missed some spots literally so i have a solution for that and since it's going to take another coat like a clear coat does she think she's going somewhere because she's definitely not <laughs> um i have clear coat in a spray can and i'm just going to spray like along this line and then throw more flex over that all right so it's kind of like an isolation layer so where you have you know what I mean? And then over the entire thing, once I sweep it again, it'll be a clear coat over it all. So you won't, you, in theory, you shouldn't be able to see where it's, where I, where I did that. Plus I don't like this area. I don't know why it looks like that. It's like lines. I don't know, see that? I don't know, that doesn't make any sense. And then just like in the random corners because I couldn't throw it far enough because it's, you know what I mean? It's not very dense. It doesn't really go very far. It kind of catches the air. So it stops a little bit shorter on the corners, like where it's farther away. It's true over here too, because I couldn't throw it far enough. And these are all screened in, so you can't, so like it's it's not much there. And then this corner is a little bit lighter too. It's like extra heavy there because I'm over there throwing it this direction and it's all landing here short. Like, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna try to blend that a little bit more with that spray. So I'll, I'll just I'll just be doing that a little bit. Oh, there's a dog over there. It's always outside and it's always making noise. Hmm, Stella? 
you should be lucky that we let you inside. Well, here is where I patched it, and it's quite obvious you can see where I patched it because I'm not a concrete person. So, the, you can hear that dog back there. So the, it's smooth, right? It's smooth to walk on, meaning like you don't really notice it, but you can see, you can see where it is. So we're gonna put a rug there, obviously, and that'll disguise a lot of it. And then there's a cabinet that kind of sets over there. So it's not that big of a deal. It'll feel okay whenever you're walking over it. And generally this is all gonna be covered anyway. So, yep, that is an update on that. But I'm waiting until we have a better quality day for the, as far as humidity goes, because it's just a little too humid. Well, a couple of things arrived in the mail today. Uh, first off, we have a Squishmallow. <laughs> It says Twizzlers on it. I actually bought this from Anne Eckhart on her Whatnot sale. And I've had people ask me if I'm gonna do Whatnot and I don't have any uh, reason to right now, but I, I'm not gonna say never. It's just, um, isn't this adorable? Uh, and it says Twizzlers. I'm, I think I bought this, well, I know why I bought it, but I'm most likely going to use it as a present for one of Barb's kids. And um, yeah, so that's really cool. And she also included these little stickers. Now, Anne has a an Etsy store and she has all these really nice quality stickers. These are ones that you could stick on like water bottles or laptops, uh, but she included this one too. Um, I don't know if she did that for everybody, just so you know. It might just be because we talked and, and we're kind of more friendly. But we've got the uh, one of her sticker sets right there with all like, the little antiques on it. Um, I also got this uh, these shirts. I bought these. Oh, I was trying to experiment with um, the new company. I don't know. Um, but so <laughs> as exciting as that is, I bought this um, somebody off of somebody on eBay. This is the other one, so it's Little Cuddlers. Little Cuddlers, <laughs> 1989. And um, I just love this little guy. He has like a leatherette type beak and it stands up. That's so lovely. Ah. Uh, these are from a recent tr uh, antique mall thing. So I was just gonna hang on to those. Those are for me. Uh, and this, this is just a <laughs> fun little thing. I actually buy these for Aaron's mom. She, I mean, she pays me for them, but I buy them for her because she uses the Simply Saline extra strength and I have to order it. She goes through a lot of this stuff. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's what that is. So with that, I think I'll go ahead and wrap up this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.